Hello YouTube. I want to do a quick video on an antenna I just received by N9TAX. It's the Slim Jim dual band antenna. This 2 meter and 70 centimeter. This antenna is about 5 feet long, but I had them add an extra 16 feet of feed line. Now for the website it says it'll handle 100 plus watts with 6 dB of gain and weighs about 10 ounces which makes it great for go boxes, bug out bags, keeping in your car, toolbox, the drawer in the kitchen. I live in a HOA restricted area and I'm in the second story of nothing but stucco. So I'm going to be trying this in various parts of my house to see how well it gets out both simplex and repeater. Now since I ordered 16 feet of RG58 onto it, it gives you a choice of different connectors. You can have SMA male, SMA female, N male, BNC male, UHF male, and mini UHF male. So I'm going to go put this up and we'll see if we can't make some connections on repeaters and simplex. Let's see if I can't make a couple of contacts. I'm going to start with the repeater out on Catalina Island. Anyone available for a signal report testing out a new antenna? Doing a great job into the Catalina repeater. Solid Ollie. Solid, solid Ollie. I can speak if I want to. Solid audio, my friend. HE6FG. Good, good channel. I uh, greatly appreciate it. I've got this uh, set up inside my house, which is uh, my giant stucco Faraday cage out here in Orange County. Greatly appreciate it. EG6FG Tim and Apple. Thank you. Be nice. Let's see if we have any luck on Simplex. Anyone available for a signal report testing out a new antenna? I'm testing out a new antenna that I just put up. I wanted to see if how I'm reaching your location on Simplex. All right, um, your three six zero, uh, which is a uh, zero to five hundred reading on a meter I have here. Um, if you move the antenna, you know, one way or the other way, I can tell you better or worse. You can't get it up on the roof at all. No, I live in a HOA restricted area, so I have it uh, trying to work with it in different areas of the house to see which one will work the best. Right now I have it dead center of my house with all the stucco around it. All right, well try some other locations and just call me on the air and I'll uh, look at my meter. I have a meter that can tell a fraction of a foot difference of signal strength, so uh, make some movements and I'll tell you uh, going this direction, whether or not uh, stronger or less. All right, I greatly appreciate it. I'm almost doing this. It's on a video for YouTube. Hopefully, uh, if you don't mind, I throw you in there. Roger that. Just remember 360. That's an important number, and I'll tell you whether you got better or worse. All right, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I can tell a change of a half a watt of power or movement of an antenna big time. So make the change and call me back. WV6 NOA. Okay, I'm going to take uh, go okay, Gordon West's uh, advice there, and I'm going to move this antenna and see what I get. Roger, go ahead. And move that antenna around and... Thought I'd see what I would get now. The last number you gave me was three six zero. All right. Well, you came way up. You're up at two hundred now. Zero is the best. Two hundred is about S nine. So wherever you have it now, much improved to this station. Over. Roger that. I greatly appreciate your time. Just trying to keep this antenna inside and away from the prying eyes of the association. Roger. Uh, do you want to try another location, or is it a... No, it's pretty much where I'm going to be able to have it. Roger that. Well, wherever you have it now, 
uh, in this direction, it's great. And of course, as long as you can access repeaters up on Santiago Peak like uh, Wind System and Clara and Sora, then uh, you got a spot. I've already tested it out and been able to hit Catalina with no problem. That's terrific. Well, then I wouldn't change a thing. All right, I greatly appreciate the time. You have a good one. Okay, you actually went up to 190, which is even better yet than 200. Uh, remember, zero is uh, path loss, uh, uh, so uh, you're very good. You're like uh, 10 over S9. Excellent signal. Okay, see you later. WB6 and away. All righty, well, we've tried it out, simplex and on repeaters, all the way out to Catalina Island. So I think this antenna is definitely a winner, and considering the cost, if you add the 16 feet then it's only $27.99. Without that, it's $22.99 plus shipping. So in my opinion, this is a uh, must-have, especially if you plan on doing any kind of portable work. So I appreciate you watching, and if you have not already done so, please do not forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks.